Hello, my name is Bryce Mulvey and welcome to the Choice Connection. Today we're going to talk to you about ring gaps. Improper ring gap is one of the major factors that causes piston failures. I'd say over 90% of the failures that come back through the door happen from improper ring gap. There's many variables when it comes to ring gap, proper size, proper clearance for your specific application. Especially if you have a boosted or nitrous application, the ring gap becomes even more critical. The easiest way to tell if your rings are budding is with a 10 power microscope. These could be picked up at a local hardware store or a fancy one like we have here at the shop. But under a close inspection, you can actually see a shiny spot on the gapped portion of the ring or an irregular wear pattern on the face. When the rings butt in the cylinder wall, it'll cause all the oiled film to be wiped off the cylinder wall itself, resulting in lack of lubrication on the skirts and in the oil ring groove. This causes rings to stick, to, to quit moving, and it actually causes oil to be removed off of the skirt of the piston. And that causes a lot of the, the scoring and lines that you see in some of the skirts of pistons when you tear down your, your engines and inspect them. One of the main things that causes ring failure is not having your rings adequately gapped for your application. There's a variety of applications and lists on our website at cpcarillo.com that will reference the, the gaps required for specific applications, such as turbocharged, supercharged, nitrous, and naturally aspirated applications. When it comes to filing your rings, there's many ways that you can do it. You can do it with a hand file, you can do it with an old crank file, or you can use uh, one of these really nice modern ring filers that you can purchase at ABS product. This machine produces the finest and straightest ring gap out of anything that we've seen come in through the door. Uh, improperly gapping your rings can cause failures, and having the correct tool to do the job makes such a big difference. The biggest key when it comes to gapping your rings is making sure that there's plenty of gap to take up for the heat in the combustion chamber and the expansion of the ring. Different applications obviously cause a higher heat in the cylinder, causing the rings to expand at different rates. The last thing you'd want to do is have your rings butt and wipe all the oil film off your cylinder wall and can cause piston failure. If you have any questions in regarding your ring gap for your application, please feel free to give us a call. One of our technical Advisors will be more than happy to help you with your specific ring applications and thank you for watching and we'll hope that you tune in next time.